the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. I just want to make sure if we, if we get anything else out of it, the, the point is the history, if the history, and I'm thinking about talking about the modern day, the, the culture war that's going on and, and how people sit there and say that the, um, the history makes the children feel bad. I just want to, I just want to make sure now I edit this piece of my video. What I want to be able to say is that if history makes children feel bad, so therefore we want to ban books and we want to make sure we don't do any CRT because somebody told us that it teaches people the agenda of how to hate other people or be hated by other people. I'm going to say I, what I got out of this is let's, instead of trying to hide history if you can, you know, with the cell phone and the computers, your children are going to get the history no matter what. Even if you, even the false narrative and the lies that we want to right, train ourselves to be, the children are going to get the history. And the children will feel bad and disgusted about the history. But what we, I think, is an opportunity to start saying is, hey, that behavior, not acceptable to God. That behavior, jeopardize anybody who lived that period, those periods, and died in those periods in jeopardy of their soul. Uh, not making it to heaven, but to hell. Or even the lake of fire. Yeah. But what I like to say, let's look, let's check this out. I think it makes sense. Even for you as an individual, is your history Instead of sitting there feeling condemned about your history, turn it into a praise report of saying, God snatched me from the fire. God sent his son and he is forgiven. But I can't justify bad behavior. You can't justify bad behavior. No way you can. You can sit there and do all you want, but you can't. But you can say, I plead the blood of Jesus. I know that he has forgiven me of my sin. He has cast it as far as the east and the west. And I have repented. I haven't arrived. I still can slip. I still can stumble. But I don't practice bad behavior anymore. I'm moving away from bad behavior. I'm moving away from hate. I'm moving away from lying. I'm moving away from cheating. I'm moving away from the things that, that God hates and moving toward the things that God loves. I'm moving away from corrupt fruit to bearing good fruit. And I can only bear that because of him. So yes, I got a bad, we as a people, we as a nation, we as a group of people have some history that, that makes us just make you feel bad. But the praise report is the blood of Jesus has forgiven me of my sins of the past. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to break it down into segments, 25, A, B, through whatever it's going to end up to be. But that's what we're going to do. And also don't forget, Happy Mother's Day. This particular week, this session is going into the day of Mother's Day. So I wish all of you Happy Mother's Day. And uh, appreciate them for what they have done. But always remember, appreciate God for sending His Son. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. And the fact is that if God wanted certain words to come forth, can you stop it? Yeah. Can anybody stop it? No, stop it. You know, and, and, and everybody that, that, that tries to disprove this proves it. You know, and when they, if they can't, disprove it even to themselves all they do is look at man they look at man that, they look it. at the faults of man I, I heard a guy talking about you know god's so powerful why does he need money no that's 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 not 
God, that's man. You, that's you're trying man. to equate Come God on, to man. That's exactly what they do. You know, and they, and they and they constantly do that. They always they always equate man to God. Men's actions. Men's actions to God. Yes, sir. To His existence. Speaking. And so, if even in doing so, all they do is just prove His who that He is. Exactly. They just prove that He is because even these 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 scientists, these astro astrophysicists. They always talk about, you know, things just happening all on their own. Yes, sir. And then when you get them to actually admit Come on, how, man. they're yes. saying there is something that caused this. Mm -hmm. There's something yes. designed this. Yes. There, there, you cannot have order out mm -hmm. of disorder. No, no. And there's the whole vast uniform verse. There's order. Yes. And what seems to be chaos. Mm -hmm. And the fact that this this universe is still growing. Yes. And there's evidence of that. At least they say that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not. It's not coming of back. The it's not, of God. Get it? Yeah. You have these people speculating on so much stuff it's just what they believe yeah and, it's and not also what they see too right huh? they, and also what they see like you said earlier too about the people yeah. they, they point back to the bad behavior of people people that the oh, the fruits of the of the people to discredit the bible and then they, they, it's like i even told one guy i said are the people behavior lining up with the gospel? Because that's how you can tell this difference yeah. between what was written and the behavior of the people who did the atrocities that people try to cover up. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, you, you can't, there is no way you can, if you read the scriptures, there's no way you can sit there and say that that person is lining up with the fruit that God wants them to portray. And that's why the sixth phase we were talking about in the age of abomination, you know, devising a wicked imagination. And, and, and that's, that's scheming to, to, to do wrong. Uh, even January 6th, that was, that was devised. That was scheming. That was planned. That was manipulated to, to try to have a different outcome. And now you got people, we talk about when people talk about the, the, the Antichrist and him deceiving many. Well, we definitely see some dry runs right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 if you can de deceive or get a whole group of people, people. And, and denounce bad behavior. Not denounce, excuse me, endorse it, right? This, yeah. this is what we're talking about right now, right? Endorsing it. Even when a person, golly, I'm just saying, it's so obvious, and, and, and yet you got an entire group of people who don't want to believe it. Did you see the town hall meeting? Ah. Uh. Is that what they called it? That's what they called it. It had it, they, 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 they justified <laughs> not putting a fair, good sampling of people in the country. Why would you have a town hall meeting and only put the Republicans in it? Well, what did they really have representation of? that community. No, they didn't. They just had they did. people in that political party. Because, I mean, if you can have two Democrats in office there, then obviously they're not all Republicans. Exactly. And so, but, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's uh, amazing. It is. That this person 
is the one that these people want to represent mm -hmm. them. In spite of, so, and then this, uh, this is when he first got a record. Yeah. Uh, I know. That just tells you something, doesn't it? Well, you know, when, when, when you had folks in the Civil War, they were fighting on behalf of people just like you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just like you. No <laughs> different. Did nothing different. Nope. And that's what they said. I think that's what attracts them to those people. Because you, can, you can't tell about It's like that whole South, for example. You had all those people convinced to fight for a theme that didn't benefit everybody. Didn't Not at all. It, it kept them as status quo. It did. It did. It, did. it was not going to elevate them. It was not going to make a difference. And yet these people gave their life for it. For, for, for the one percenters to stay for the one percenters. percenters. Exactly. And, and that's exactly what they're doing now. There's nothing There's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> yeah. That man, is a, that man is part of the one percenter. His behavior. And yet, you convinced the, the uh, evangelicals. <laughs> well, he said he's going to give us the people in the Supreme Court. He's going to give us the people what that What does that have to do with, you know what the Supreme Court is? The real Supreme Court is God the Father, God the Son, Come on, God man. the Holy Spirit. I mean, Holy Spirit. that is the Supreme Court. That is the ultimate judge. That's the final judge. Yeah. In other words, these people, some people are taking on the Machiavelli behavior, any means necessary. Yeah. Yeah. Opposed to the thing about the power. I think, you know, we just read that the Lord's Prayer, the power to change. Because that's what power does. Power means something that can change. Christ is telling you after this matter, just remember the power. But thine is the kingdom. And he is the power. If you want to change somebody's behavior, it's not going to be based on your power. It's not going to be, that's why we talked last week about the be with you. Yeah. You, you keep forgetting God is the one that can change people. And, and look, you forget about the fact that God changed you. But we don't, we don't think that that can happen to <laughs> whatever situation you want that's negative. We don't think it can change. You can't change the person's color. Do you want to change the person's color? You want to change the behavior of the person. Do you want to change the threat of a person? You think you can do it or the power of God can do it? Those are why, that's why you're talking about the sick thing God hated, the, the lion when you take on the tools of the devil, lion tongue, that was one of them, right? Proud look, a lion tongue, hand to shed, uh, what do you call it? Shed innocent blood. Yeah. A heart that advises wicked imagination. These are tools of the enemy. And you want to say you did, you need those tools to represent God? Oh, man. Let me put it back up again real quick. And then we'll, we'll close out with uh, the uh, Galatians, the uh, works of the flesh and then the fruits of the spirit. We'll close it out with that. But <laughs> the, the Proverbs 6.16 6, through 19, these are not tools of God. These are the things that God hates. And if any of you sit there and believe that you can use these two and say you're representing God, you are not representing God. You're not representing Christ. You're representing the devil. And Christ, even Christ said he's a liar from the beginning. Didn't he? Yeah. He took, he, he's well, a liar. Father, he's a murderer. He, 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 the birth, er, the father of. Yeah. 
And they have the audacity to use those two, knowing that God hates them. That's what we just try to tell people. Yes, the history is bad, but the testimony is, I have changed. So, we already got the sixth day that God hate. Let's wrap it up with our Galatians uh, 5. We want, we, this is from 16 to the, I think, 25. <coughs> Help us out, bro. Help us yes, out. I Tell us what we're supposed to do. Walk in the Spirit, mm -hmm. and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit. Yes, sir. And the Spirit against the flesh. Mm -hmm. And these are, are contrary, the one to the other. Right. So that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's, that's Yeah. Not. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But if ye be led of the Spirit, come on, yeah. not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifested, which are these: Come on. adultery, mm. fornication, wow, uncleanness, wow, lasciviousness, yes, idolatry, whoa, witchcraft, come on now, hatred, well, variance, uh huh, emulation, yes, wrath, what, rife. Come on. Addition. Yes. Heresy. Yes. Envy. Oh, that's common. Murders. Oh, that's Drunkenness. worse. Come on. Reveling. Uh-huh. And such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And that's the key we're trying to talk about. The fact is, eternal life but we're talking about if you're not in the kingdom when you leave this world if you're not in the kingdom you got some problems correct yeah so we're not saying is that you can be in the kingdom is and sometimes slip in some of these areas and that's what the grace is for but if you want to live in these areas then you may have, I, do, do, I guess we can say you might have some problems, right? Yeah, you, you, you not, might, you have problems. You have problems. No you putting yourself in jeopardy. And we, and, and, and the same thing about it, and I, I wish sometimes, maybe one time I do it, one day is that, but I said, the, 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 the issue that many of us have to work on is, is, is what we need the grace of God. Because some of them are extreme behaviors, right? And, and a lot of people have overcome those extreme areas. But envy, that's, that's an area that we need to work on. Yep. Even the, all of us need to work on. Uh, we we, we got to work on what were some of the other things. Even the reveling, right? The wild party. We, we all got to work on those type of areas. In different forms and fact, Some of them don't have wild party. So definitely going to orgies. <coughs> But some of us do may have a, we got to make sure we don't cross the line on how we enjoy ourselves with one another. Uh, drunkenness. That's a big one, right? There's many people that drink. But he's trying to say is moderation is what they're trying to focus on. Drunkenness means that you, you lose control. And then that's where you can drive down the highway and kill somebody because you lost control. Uh, what is another one? Uh, oh, wrath. Is that, is, that, is, that a, is that a rock that people need to work on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's the upset is that those are the type of areas where you want to be being bad and you got, got a temper. Some people got a temper and you, and you got to work on that. And then you sit there and focus on the, the adulterer. <laughs> Why, you still, <laughs> still got your own issue with wrath. I think those people that, that want to throw that rock at the woman with the act caught in back of adultery, I, I assume that's wrath. I, 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 they, that's why he said, I can't find, by, by the mere fact I already picked up a rock, I, I can't find anybody who has not sinned. And that's what he was saying, right? He would have said, I'm casting first stone. 
If you got wrath in your heart, you got strife in your heart, you got sedition. Even January 6th was an example of sedition. In the I saw all that stuff in that January 6th. Did we see that? I saw wrath. I saw strife. I saw sedition. Uh, I saw hatred in it. Uh, what else we saw in there? And uh, even uncleanness, because some reports are talking about how people get, how do, how do you defecate in, in, in the Capitol? Amongst all, all those people. people. Huh? I mean, how nasty can you be? How could, my, you know, and think about how did you get it? The only way I think you can get it, if you correct me, I think we all agree, right? There's only one way you can get it. Either you went, look, you either did one or two things. You either went into the bathroom and found somebody who didn't flush the toilet, which is a high probability that didn't happen, or you actually, in the midst of a crowd of people cutting up, you took time to defecate in in that in that riotous condition. Does that does that is, is that the only way? It, I can't say any other way you could have done. It. Did you did you bring it in a bag? Did you no. do you know? Did you bring it with you and you carried it in a bag? What's the probability that happened? It is amazing. <laughs> it, it, it's disgusting. And yes, somebody did it. That's my point. That's uncleanliness, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, these are the things, just like this proverb, are the things that God hated. And yet, if we use these tools to cover our history and still do these things, if we use these tools to, to advance our own agendas, then you're not in the kingdom. And you chose not to be in the kingdom. You chose not to be in a bad thing. Now, here's a here's a wrap up. What you got here? But the fruit of the spirit is love, mm -hmm. joy, come on, peace. Yes, sir. Long suffering, which is patience, gentleness. Yes, sir. Goodness, come on, faith. Well, meekness. Yes, sir. Temperance. Uh -huh. Against such there is no law. No law. And they that are Christ, come on now, have crucified the flesh. Well, with the affections and lust. Come on now. If we live in the Spirit, come on. Let us also walk in the Spirit. Yes, sir. And, and let us not be desirous of vain, vain glory, but both Which of is, one another. Yes, what is yes, what? Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to say. If it says, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. That's yes, saying that you can live in the Spirit and not walk in the Spirit. Yes, sir. Sometimes, yeah. You can slip. That's what happens. So, yeah. so there is an effort that must be made. Daily. That's why I think he gave the Lord's Prayer daily. He said to help remind you of how you're supposed to walk. Yeah. And then he said, Provoking one another and then one another. That is what he's trying to get us to work toward these areas. The tree is known by its fruit. These are good fruits. Proverbs 16 to 19 is showing you what he hates. <clears throat> then the ones earlier was showing you what he is, is not going to get you into the kingdom. And I think we should all focus on not trying to cover up, <laughs> not trying to hide your history. It's to show how you have changed. I, I think one thing I like about the Bible is that, like you say, you know those characters and stuff. That's mean that they didn't hide the history of David. You know, they didn't hide the history of Abraham or Abram. Yeah. They, they, you know, they, they didn't hide the history of the children of Israel. They used those as a testimony. 
that if they have stayed in the kingdom, then they would have different results, right? They got kicked out. They got kicked out of the Israel. And boy, when you think about it, they, they've been having, and it could be us. <laughs> Because, you know, we keep talking about it, right? I, I sent you some more videos, some little TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> they, keep, they keep putting it right back in the area. You haven't done your DNA yet, have you? Yeah. Oh, you yeah? have? Yeah. Where, where, are your, where are your percentages mostly? <laughs> oh. Congo. I, I'd have to actually look. Bacteria? Yeah. <laughs> I got 40%. 26% coming out of Nigeria. Uh, I, can't, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> I would have to. Let me see. You, well, you came for the slave coast, is basically what you're saying, though. When you get the Congo. Yes. You said Congo. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> you did. And, and, and the, the history is showing that a lot of those people, the Ebos and all those people, they were all for the slave coast. Children of Israel, the Hebrews moved from, and I'll blame when you said that before. Well, if you, you're coming from the Romans, you fight running from the Syrians, what do you do? You try to get as far away yeah. as possible. You're not going to go toward them. What's this you're not going to go toward them. <laughs> and so, the, and, and, and the fact is, I, think, I kept thinking about it, I said, and I think I'll bring it up again, because I, I did it before, I told you, George Washington even had a to Congress said, remember, you remember the one I brought up one time? He said, we want to teach their children to forget who they were. The Romans tried to wipe their name, their history, off the map. Changing their country to Palestine. Shit, taking the people out. Leave Babylon, then Babylon took them out, but Babylon let them come back. You know? Yeah. Israel, I mean, the Romans, it's almost like it never stopped as far as them trying to wipe these people out. And the remnants of these people. Modern day history, we're talking about how Hitler, you saw, the, you saw some of those pictures of the, uh, those camps, right? Yeah. It is, can, how low can a man go? How long low can people go? It, it's, it's, they can go as low as they want to. Woo. They're trying to do all the days genocide. Yeah. I, 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 oh, so I just pulled this up. I have What's 27% in Nigeria. Oh, you 27% Nigeria. Well, you got how much in Congo? From Mali. What about the Congo? What about the Congo? Um, let's see. Eleven. You got eleven. That's twenty-six plus eleven. And what else you got in the area? And then I got uh, been in in Togo. That's five percent. Yeah, there you go, Togo. Yep, that's another part of that. Senegal's two. Um, one percent from North Africa. Uh -huh. From Northern Africa. Yeah. Oh, brother, you might, you might. One percent, bro. One. <laughs> no, no, I know, I know, I know. I got you, Jeff. <laughs> it, it, it kind of gave a pattern of the. Cause see, you gotta remember that whole group came down. Yeah. Maybe a little reminiscence. <laughs> that was yeah, just the same. It could have happened from over here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the majority of those people went down to the West Coast from Northern Africa. Ivory Coast and Ghana. Ivory Coast too. And Ghana. I got Ghana too. When you, add, when you add all that up, you at least over 50%, close to 50% of your DNA is in that area. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, then you got the one, I got like 7% or 1% of, uh, so many percent in Europe, uh, Ireland and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that, that's, I, that's, I got that's, the same stuff. 
Yeah. You get a Native American too? Like 1% or something like that? Oh, um, yeah. Indigenous, 2% Indigenous North Americans. Yeah. yeah. That, mean, that means somebody touch. You know, some of your ancestors touch all those areas. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it is. Again, yeah. How, how can you, you know that how accurate this is? It, it, it has some truth in the it, database. I don't, I don't believe it's, it's completely accurate. Right. It is based on the database. But other yeah. things I like the fact is that, like I said, there's enough history that shows that a lot of, even in Portugal, you know, the, 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 uh, we were talking about Moors last, uh, last week. A lot of the Moors were people, Jews, Hebrews, that would not be converted. So they shipped them to West Africa. Yeah. And then they shipped them to the United States and South America and Haiti and all those other places. But it's, it's almost like it's always been that desire to, what I, I always think, I kept thinking about kept, uh, George Washington was, we must teach them to forget who they were. And that has been the theme. And then apparently the, the even the, the Jews, the European Jews, the Kazanazis, who were converted to be part of Jewish faith, they got to the point they want to wipe them out. Literally. They, they made an industrial factory. So something is about this. You know what I mean? There's, there's something about it that the enemy, well, we know what it is spiritually, the enemy wants to kill anything that lines up with the will of God. And that's what happened with Cain and Abel, correct? So uh, I just want to leave that with the fact is that if the, I just want to leave with people, if, if you if our history, and I'm talking about black and white, has a lot of blood on their hands, I think that won't make a difference because God saw all those people. What makes the difference is that the love of God by using Christ, sending his son, is to give every last one of us forgiveness, grace, and mercy to be a child of God. Don't hide it. Show what God has done in spite of it, is how I'm going to say it. So, Brian, I want to have, hope you have a good week. Uh, and uh, what are you going to do for Mother's Day? This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord.